When, and then, now, now global warming started, global warming started, write this down, global warming started 20,000 years ago. Get that down? Years ago. That's when global warming started. And there was no men in North America 20,000 years ago. Okay, so whatever reason, global warming started. So when the world starts getting warmer, what happens to all this ice? What? Melts. See, it's a hydrologic cycle. So when the ice melts, what happens to it? The runoff. Look at your own chart, the runoff. I like that chart. Okay, so this ice started it was getting warm. It started to melt, right? The, ice was, the uh, water, ice was turning into water. It started coming off here in huge rivers, serious erosion, deep valleys. You'll study about that, right? Okay, but what happens to the glaciers? It, yes, and what happens to them? They retreat. Yes, they go up like this. And what do the animals do that were down here? They love this. All oh, fresh trees and stuff growing over here. Okay? And they keep migrating. Okay? Now, when the glaciers came down, they carved these huge ditches, these huge holes in the ground. And when the glaciers retreated, uh, they left glacial ice. The Great Lakes used to be giant ice cubes. Okay? And as they retreated, they left the ice cubes there. And eventually, the ice cubes melted and turned into the Great Lakes and they're very, very cold because it used to be ice from a glacier. And now the glacier is, right now, the glaciers have moved all the way up to the Arctic Circle. Okay? But the gla that's called the Ice Ages. And I just did the last one, but the, actually, the, your, I think your books will say it came down four times. But the scientists know, we think it came up 32 times. Down, back, down, and kind of a yo-yo. But okay, so well, what's the, what happened to sea level after all the ice melted? So are you surprised that sea level is going up now? Because the ice is still melting. So what happens if it gets colder again? What's, the, what's sea level going to do? Yes, as the glaciers come down, sea level goes down. As the glaciers go back north, what happens to sea level? You get it? And in our scientific papers, we call that the sea level yo-yo. Glaciers come down, sea level goes down. Glaciers go up, sea level comes up. Okay? So what we're doing... Also, our Geological Society, we are donating a mammoth bone. We're donating you, and write this down, a mammoth bone, a mammoth bone for your own school that was found here. It's 13,230 years old. Okay? And what we're, what we're doing, we are don we're going to donate this bone right here to you. This is a mammoth bone on a stand. And we're going to give you a poster. Can you bring that, uh, one of those posters over, Alan? To your school, this is going to be a permanent. This, how old is this bone? 230-year-old mammoth bone. So what we want to do, this is what we call our seeds. We're trying to plant the seeds of geologic curiosity. We want to have this in your trophy case of your school. Slide a couple of trophies over, okay, and put a mammoth bone in there that's 13,000 years old. And we're going to give you this poster also. These animals... A mammoth, a mastodon, and a gomphothere. A gomphothere had two tusks on the top and two on the bottom. It had four tusks. They found these in, corp in our, our area. Okay? But this is a, a mammoth bone right here. So, so for a permanent, as the kids come up through your school, they will see this bone, see these posters, and ask teachers questions, and you'll get more information to help you all learn it and talk about global warming.